to show you the quick and easy way to make a tree well. I'm going to use my fabulous tool, a hoematic, and then what I do is you want to get the weeds right around the base of the tree. You want to clear that away because you don't want your mulch going up against it. So I generally use this end of it and dig down and remove the weeds from the base, being careful not to hit and injure the tree. It's really important to find the base of the tree. A lot of times soil does go up around it and that can cause disease and decay. You can leave these right here. You don't have to haul them away because we're gonna put other mulch on top of it. fall is when I make my tree wells. I just wait for the leaves to fall to the base of the tree and then I can do this right away right here and boom you can do a whole line of straight trees. It doesn't take long but it's March right now and I happen to have saved some leaves for this purpose and leaves are wonderful. I can't say enough good things about leaves. If you have a place where you can save leaves and let them break down and become soil, it's the best soil there is. So leave the leaves. It's very important to do things sustainably. You're using less gas and less time. So what you want to do, you still want to be conscious. You've made your cut around the tree and you want to be conscious not to have your mulch, your leaves, whatever you're going to put on top, touching the base of the tree. And you really, it's okay to put the leaves pretty high because they're really, they're going to break down. After you've got your leaves down, you can come in and put your mulch and spread it around. Usually I don't put the wood chips very deep on top because my leaves are so thick the leaves are going to break down and the wood chips really help keep everything in place. So for a while it's going to look funny, it's going to look really puffy and high, but that is going to break down. And again, if you do this in the fall, um, that time of year is really good because the rain's going to work to your benefit on that and help things break down. So this is a really quick and easy way to make tree wells and I hope you'll have fun with it because it's really great for you, it's great for the trees, and you're really helping protect your trees. This is a great example of a very sad tree. It's really important to keep the soil, the wood chips, whatever, away from the base of your tree because it's gonna cause disease and decay. And as you can see, it can also perhaps cause fungal problems. So what you wanna do is you wanna clear the soil away from the base of your tree. And this happens a lot, especially in landscape that was just newly installed, landscape that was contracted out and comes in as a new installation. And you, it's really important to check all the new trees to make sure that they were planted at the proper depth. Because all trees flare out at the base and that's what you're looking for. Yeah, so the base of the tree is actually out here, way down there. And I can't say that that was solely the reason for this fungal problem here. There's also some problems going in the bark and there could be something else going on. but. It's really important for you to always ensure that you're doing the most you can for the health of your plants because you will have less disease and pest problems. So always take the extra effort um, to make sure that your plants are doing okay.